first movement is in a uh, supine position. We'll have the knees flex 90 degrees. Uh, one stays on the floor, the other lifts into tabletop, and then we'll take the active motion bar right where the logo is and push it into the thigh. And we'll push while we'll simultaneously pull, trying to create that activation. And from here, as we're trying to stabilize that load, we will move into a bridge. And then just keep that pressure, keep the neutral spine, try to maintain that stability as that weight is constantly shifting. Driving through that heel, working the posterior chain. As we get more stability involved, obviously we'll switch sides. Uh, we can manipulate the pressure to uh, uh, change the difficulty of the exercise. So that's, that's the first one. Pressure in the tabletop leg and move into the single leg bridge as we're always trying to maintain stability. Exercise number two will be a regression there. We'll just instead put the active motion bar down on the hips and we'll create pressure here as we move into our bridge. Again, the goal being to keep the load inside the bar stable. Okay, really trying to help the athlete develop that focus where their body is in space relative to where that uh, internal weight is shifting inside the bar. Okay, now let's move to a, uh, a dead bug position. So knees flex 90 degrees, the bar is going to press into both thighs as we flex the spine, create that pressure so I push away as I simultaneously tuck in, creating that activation. And from right here, we're going to extend one leg and do circles. Obviously, we'll switch it up. Do the same thing on the other side. Again, doing all these movement patterns is very, very uh, important to focus on where that weight is inside the bar, where the body is in space, and how to coordinate that movement effectively while maintaining stability. Um, all great movement patterns for developing that stability strength of the trunk. Obviously, is a muscle activation technique for warm up or in a physical therapy context, we're trying to rehabilitate and strengthen and redevelop those proprioceptive abilities. Um, now, let's do a couple movements where we're working on some shoulder stability. So, we'll grab the active motion bar right on that center logo during all of our unilateral movements. And uh, we can just again engage in all the bridge type patterns from this position here we're focusing on the dynamic shoulder stability trying to keep the weight inside the bar centered and stable as we progress these moves on the floor we can then move into full range of motion where we're actually now we progress from that activation technique we mobilize the spine right we ask the spine to move instead of pull that isometric stability strength so we progress into movement patterns like that um, so single arm sit up, bilateral is another great option where we're just, again, focusing on the abdominal strength here as we're trying to maintain stability. I want to bring the shoulder stability picture to move here. Okay, I'll flip over to the side, we'll stack uh, knee under the extended leg and shoulder right underneath, I'm sorry, elbow under the shoulder. And uh, this is our starting position here, bars parallel with the body. Uh, we're going to lift up into a parallel position, and then we'll lift into a side plank. Again, no adduction or adduction here, or internal and external rotation. This is going to be a movement focusing on lateral core strength and stability. Uh, so we can either hold here, we can decide to pulse up and down by pushing through that bottom knee. Again, not lifting here, not lifting here. Those angles that those joints remain fixed, and we're lifting through that bottom leg. Now, if we want to hold this position static up top, I bring my hand a little closer, we can include some pressing maneuvers. Or we can ask the foot to follow the hand out front. But all great movements to integrate into, stabili into a uh, stability strength training protocol to help the athletes uh, redevelop that core strength and stability uh, so they can pro progress onto the heavier lifting, obviously, and uh, more dynamic athletic drills. Um, hopefully these movement patterns bring some, a better idea to you guys as to what to do with the athletes. Um, but we always encourage, obviously, integrating the active motion bar into ways that you're already using standard static fitness tools to get that really dynamic but unique stability requirement uh, to take place.